What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Pokemon Platinum Punch Lock. So, uh, commenters sort of gave me the impression that it wouldn't be so bad if I were to take Yeti out of the PC. And like I said in the last video, the obvious replacement would be Peach. So, sorry, Peach. You're going into the box. Although I'll put you next to the cool members of the party, not next to Nimbles. So these are these are our our. This is like the uh, the second string, you know. If, if this were a sports team, this would be the second string. Although let's be perfectly honest, if this were a sports team, this would be the first string. <laughs> and then this, oh derp. This would be the second string, and then this would be the third string. <laughs> But, uh, anyway. Yes, so out comes the Yeti. And, uh, I think, I hope, this is gonna be worth it. So, I looked up the Yeti's move set, which is something I'm allowed to do, and I, uh, discovered... Where is my experience share? I discovered that it's... He has a great move set. Uh, <laughs> learning Wood Hammer and Blizzard, and then having the ability to summon Hail just by coming into battle. This will mean I'll have three weather effects on hand on my team. With Blaze's Sunny Day, Mud's Rain Dance, and Yeti's Snow Warning ability. So what I, my plan is, hopefully, to get uh, Yeti to be level 41 and have Blizzard and Snow Hammer and be able to start slamming it with the rest of the team. And uh, the real deciding factor, what it, what it ended up coming down to, was somebody told me that the champion has four Pokémon that are weak to either Ice or Grass. And I was like, wow, really? That's nuts. I couldn't believe it. So, they didn't say what Pokemon they were or anything, and I don't want to know. Uh, but that, that alone is enough to make me think, hey, that's worth giving Eddie Yeti a chance. And his jolly nature is a decent nature, although it's not going to help his blizzards very much. Uh, it will raise his speed, which is cool. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get out of here, man. We're supposed to go, according to you commenters, I'm supposed to go to Count Coronet next. But, uh, I don't know exactly where or... How? I, it must be rock climb, right? I must have to rock climb on something. So let's... Jeez, how do I... Hmm. Let's just go to Celestic Town and start from there, I suppose. I don't know where I should be starting from. Maybe I need to... Hmm. No, I think... Yeah, this is probably wrong. Okay, let me see. Who learned rock climb? I think we taught it to... Nibbles, didn't we? I'm just, I'm just sick of having to switch people out. For these HMs, man. It's just... Can I... I'm wondering if Yeti can learn it. Nope. <sighs> okay. Wow, really? That's just not a good enough move for me to want to have it on one of my other Pokemon. So I guess we're going to have to bring out Nibbles again. This is I'm not going to edit this again because the HM slavery is just so asinine. I can't even I can't even begin to describe how how annoyed I've become with this whole thing. So, hmm. Who sits out? Let's see. I, gotta be able, I need to be able to fly. I need to be able to surf. Um, I guess we'll let Bell sit this one out for a bit. Just so we can use Rock Climb. I'm just assuming that it's Rock Climb, but I think I remember if we go to the southern part of Mount Coronet, I think there were some areas down there that we couldn't Rock Climb on. But actually, now that I think about it, there was a Rock Climb area in that last city we were just in, so maybe I should go and pick up that item I spotted before we continue our lollygagging. So it's over... It's whatever there, I think. But I think I have to go around. Do, 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 do. I like the music in this town. Oh, I'm not supposed to be up here. Oh yeah, this is where we have to go all the way around for no reason. It's very strange the layout of this town with these... Oh no, I was right the first time! Ah, damn! Blast! I should, I, should start, I should start saying blast. Can I just walk up through here? Hey, look at that. The wall is very rocky! Will a Pokemon's move scale it? What? Oh, we taught Rock Climb to do that! Ugh. Man, how could I have forgotten that already? It was only a few days ago. Granted, I only play this game twice a week when I make these videos, so... I do have to try and hold things in my head like that, but... Ugh. I feel so foolish. <laughs> This has just been a waste of time. This whole video so far has just been me going derp to derp to derp to derp. So we'll put Nibbles back in. Okay. Let's, let's continue, shall we? 
Okay, now we are going to have a rock climber. We can actually go and do what I've been trying to do this whole video now. So I'm, I'm really just hoping Yeti can, can grow into his into his britches, you know. Fill up that void in the team. We, an ice type is just so great to have. So, just really hoping we can smack down some dragons between Yeti, uh, Eddie's Dragon Pulse and Yeti's. Uh, I guess what will end up being Blizzard. Although we could teach Eddie, or uh, rather Yeti, an Avalanche. Because he's going to be fairly slow, so he's probably going to go second most of the time. And then Avalanche would do 120 power and it would be a physical attack. So I guess we'll see. After he evolves... It's this way? After he evolves, if his attack becomes substantially better than his special attack, we might go for the Avalanche strategy rather than the Blizzard. Or maybe he'll just end up having both. I think this is the right way. Let me use a Repel. If... I'm just... I'm going off of... Hazy, hazy memories here. This is the medicine pocket. There's no repels in there. Full incense. It's an exotic smelling incense that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. What? When did I pick that up? What, what the heck is that for? Okay, uh... Where are my repels? There we go. Oh, I only have three. I need to buy some more repels soon. Okay, so I think... Why would I want to go down there? I wonder. It's weird. Looks like there was an area to go, but there was nothing much to, to do there. Okay, here's a rock climb area. Let's do it. Do that! Yeah! Oh! It's a battle! What? They call me the Echo Man? Battle with me, Yahoo. I'm perplexed. Uh... A rock climb... HM? Just, just to go... Oh, I need to switch into mud. Well, it's only level 38. I can definitely outspeed it. And a close combat will definitely kill it. What would really be bad is if Graveler had, like, Prankster or something and could, uh, get priority. Or actually, no, I guess that wouldn't work anyway. This explosion wouldn't get priority under Prankster because it's a damage during move. Not a, a status move. Silly me. Ooh, steel type. Great! More more close combats. Probopass is such a weird looking Pokemon, man. It's just a big, red, hairy, hairy nose. I don't understand it. No nose pass from the beginning was a weird idea for a Pokemon. It's like, hey, what if we had a Geodude with no arms and a huge red nose? And everyone said, that's stupid. That's good advice. You're at a loss. Check the town map. Why am I here? Excuse me, sir. What the hell? What? Well, that's weird. I don't understand why they would put a rock climb area in just for that one battle there. <laughs> that's really weird, because by the time you have rock climb, you've, you've gone past this area, and three badges later, you're, you're here again. That's really weird. Okay, there's a rock climb area. That might be where I need to end up going here. Okay, I can surf, so we've got mud with us. You see, HMs like surf and fly, they're useful, so you don't really feel like you're wasting a move slot when you have them. Well, maybe fly. Fly is definitely a wasted move slot for, for Toggle, because he don't do physical attack. And that's what fly is, so... See, even, even when they're useful, they're still a waste of a move slot, so I, I think I definitely want to get rid of HMs entirely. My red shard. Thanks for filling up my bag, you piece of crap. Alright. Oh, did I find another max repel? I thought I already had used up my third to last. Ugh, I need strength. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully Dudette can learn strength. This is just getting ridiculous. I wonder if, he can, I wonder if she can learn Rock Smash, too. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Dudette wants to learn Rock Smash. Looks like Dudette's going to become an HM slave, too. I uh, forget Defense Curl. Poof! You learned Rock Smash, alright, and now you're also going to learn Strength, which I hope you can learn. We've seen a uh, dude that uses Strength, or uh, rather a Geodude, use Strength in the anime, I believe. That's my phone! What does that sound even mean? I have no idea what that sound means, actually. I think my phone just messed up. Something weird happened, like the signal got lost, and it's like, duh, what am I doing? 
Yes, push it aside. Do that. This must be the right way, because we have to have all these HMs to get through here, so... Kind of annoying. Do I want to go this way? Yes! Yes! So this is still Mount Coronet in here, right? I'm not skipping out in a new area. Yeah, it's still Mount Coronet. So I already have my encounter here. We got we got Medley the Meditite here. Okay, there's a way out. There's more items. I want to look for the items first. I want to get the items first. There's a bunch more items. Okay, there's several ways to go here. I'm actually thinking the way that I'm supposed to go is probably going to be up and out. So let me just... Alright, let's quit befuddling around. Let's get the items. Rock slide! Hey, okay. That's cool. That could be useful. Hmm. I wonder if... I wonder if an Obama Snow can learn Rock Slide. That would be a cool move to round out the move set. Okay, now we're up here. Oh, hello. A timer ball! Alrighty. So I assume if we go down from there, that's somewhere we've already been. Well, I guess we'll see. Gotta explore. I'm trying to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. So I think... Oh no, hey, it's something new. An iron! Hooray for EV items. They're not super useful for me. I guess I just hang on to them to the end. Then you have to put the Pokemon in the PC and take them back out to get their EVs to update. Alright, oh, did my repel run out? Let me actually just go ahead and throw down another one. How about that? Yeah, I, I, I only have one left now. Okay, I thought maybe my repels were glitched and I was going to get an infinite number. Which would have been totally fine. Would have been great. Yeah, see the broken out wall up there? That's got to be where we're supposed to go. Oh man, the game is lagging bad. It's going... Oh! Look who's there! It's Looker! Observe, if you will, that hole! That's what she said. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit. But the wall, it is no longer there! It lies in pieces, do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the legs have been captured, something terrible is happening, I could exactly do not what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, what on to the next step. You are the trainer. Are you are you trainer enough to advance? Is this trainer an adjective now? Show me if you will. Da 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 da. Ha ha, you can relax now. You see I understand. You are far superior to me. You are as are the commanders. Cyrus too naturally. Team like his memory. Please, you must stop them. Only only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The black flute? Uh what? What is Okay, he asks, what does the black flute do? It's a melody that makes wild Pokemon less likely to appear? What? Why are you giving me this crap? I, I have repels, I don't... Ugh. Ugh. Alright. That was weird. Are we really gonna need that? I mean, it's... Um... Obviously I'm supposed to go up, but... What's over here? A star piece! Okay. Cool enough. I'm not gonna even bother with the item finder. And up we go. Oh, hey. I know you! We grunts have two jobs! One, ensure the success of our operation at the summit, and two, lose to me. Look at you! You haven't even got a name tag! Etc, etc. And your Pokemon is stinky! I'll go with an Earthquake here, get the super effective move. Could go for close combat, that's going to be neutral damage. And then plus Stab. Uh, actually, that would be... I think that would still be better. You don't get a Stab on the Earthquake, so... No, no, no Earthquake would be better, so the super effective is two times, not one and a half. What am I thinking? Alright, let's continue. I want to get out of this cave before my next Repel runs out. Hey, buddy! The time has come! Etc. I'm not gonna read these guys' dialogue anymore. They're just. They're getting crazy. They, they got enough dialogue in that last episode. Uh, they always have dark types that have a sub type that makes them more resistant to fighting type moves. It's like a stab close combat. I could probably still one shot a Murkrow crowd now. Yes, it can! Very cool. Wouldn't it be cool if close combat only lowered your defenses if the foe didn't faint? Like, if they fainted, you just got away with it for free? That would be super sweet. Of course, it would make close combat a crazy sweeping kind of move, though. 
Ooh, it's snowing! Cool. Oh, is this still Mount Coronet? Yeah, I guess this says on the start screen it's Mount Coronet still, so... I don't get a new encounter here. But, I think at this point, we're not even looking for new encounters. Unless something really awesome comes along. But, uh... Oh man, where do I go? Too many ways to go! Oh, Repel Spec fell off, that's fine. I think I only have one Repel left. Hmm. Push that boulder, yeah! Alright, that's gotta be something useful. Let's get up there and get that. But you see this, the... the, uh, the gratuitous HMs? It's just, ah, uh, you have to use them constantly to get around. That's just annoying, man. Okay, there are several cave entrances, it seems. Who knows which is the right one? Let's go this way. If I'm missing anything really amazing down the other path, ah, uh, well, let's just go find out. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Because this, this looks like the right way to go, because we're going up, 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 up. So I'll run back over here to this other entrance. What do we got? What do we got? It's an Obama snow! Wow. Of course we can't uh, catch this Obama snow because we already have a Pokemon in that evolutionary line and we already have an encounter on Mount Coronet. Alright, so there's a third way to go if we go up the... To use the rock climb to go farther up the mountain. What's this? How am I supposed to know where I'm supposed to go? There's three different ways to go and they all look like they're gonna be okay. Okay, I guess I'll use my repel and explore the rest of this area. My last repel. You know, let's use the black flute. How about that? Wow, Pokemon are repelled. Is it like an infinite repel? How cool would that be? Oh, hello. What's this? A stardust. Stardust. Okay. I don't have waterfall or anything, so I can't go up that. At least I don't think I can. Right? Is that an HM? The water is crashing down with a mighty roar! Okay. Can't go this way yet. Alright. So that's a dead end. Hey, my flute's not working. I guess it just repels, what, half of the wild Pokemon or something? I don't know. Just taking a guess here. Maybe it's more than that. Maybe it's like 9 out of 10. I mean, maybe it's actually useful. If it's like infinite repels, that would be pretty sweet. I mean, seriously, it would be. It's like, that's, that's like the one thing you spend your money on, is repels and hyper potions, so... If you have infinite of those, you're gonna have uh, a lot more money to spend on other things, which I don't really know what you would buy. It'd be nice if you could just buy heart pieces, or better yet, just pay the move tutors, uh, or the move relearner guy, to relearn moves without having to do the whole... Uh, do I have to reuse the flute when I change areas? Hmm. It's a jingling! I'm getting the impression that I have to... I got an encounter really quickly there. It's hailing! That's gonna stink. All my battles on top of this mountain are gonna be in the hail. Wild wow, Pokemon are repelled. Nice. Oh, I, maybe I should do some, some research and find out how, how good that black flute actually is. I guess we'll find out via experience here. But if you had to reuse it every time you changed areas, you would be it would hardly be worth it. Alrighty then, let's continue. What you got, buddy? Uh, epic battle music. Epic music is epic. Let's see, I think I'll go with the Earthquake here. I'm still perplexed as to why they all have not fully evolved level 40 Pokémon. Just seems really strange to me. What, like, are they not allowed to let their Pokémon evolve? And then we saw previously that Cyrus had a crappier Pokémon than Commander Saturn, I think it was, did. His uh, Golbat had Super Sonic instead of Confuse Ray, and it's like, what? A level 40 Golbat that doesn't have Confuse Ray, that's just really... Or was a Crobat, actually, even, I think. So maybe he was a fool and he evolved his Pokémon too early, like Lieutenant Surge! I guess that would explain it, but, uh, I don't know. Really only guessing here. I'm not even gonna switch. Let's do Dragon Balls. Again, that's not what I expect that move to look like, because I think I've only seen it in Generation 5. Air Cutter, oh boy. 
feel like we've been here before. These grunts all have the same Pokemon. Hmm. I guess, I guess that's something I'm gonna have to try to avoid. In my ROM. I'm, I'm trying to think about these things, I'm trying to observe them as I play. Like, what mistakes did Game Freak make that I want to avoid? Like, giving every Team Rocket grunt the same Pokemon is probably an error, I would think. It just makes the battles less interesting, less, less variety, you know? Hmm. I guess part of the problem is that they're just choosing two or three Pokemon from this pool of, what, four or five? It's not very many. It's like, so you get a Stunky, or a Golbat, or a Houndor, or... I think that one guy, that one researcher guy, had Psychic types. But then everyone else has had, yeah, or a Murkrow. I'm <laughs> like, that's about it. So even counting all of those, even the Psychic types, it's only six Pokemon. It's like, man, come on. Do you think you could get a little, a little more creative than that? Ah, oh, the Golbats. Just don't... I mean, don't use Confused Ray or anything annoying like that. He's a Dragon Pulse. Eddie is just such a kick-ass Pokémon. I gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of Lucario in general uh, before playing this Nuzlocke run, but now, man, Eddie has lived up to the hype, I think. It's just a, a really great Pokémon to have on the team. It's, the typing is amazing, the move was great, and just... Can't argue with that, man. Swords Dance, Close Combat, Earthquake is nuts. I wonder if Eddie can learn uh, Stone Edge. That would be an even uh, greater move pool, I think. Actually, he could, pro he could probably learn Rock Slide. I bet. Okay. Looks like I want to go out this way. Trying to find our way to the top of Mount Coronet. I guess I'll keep using my flute. My flute! My flute! Do I want to go this way? Oh, yeah, probably just another star piece or something. A moonstone! A moonstone! Okay, the wall's very rocky. Look at that. Is this a dead end? Oh no, there's a door there. A secret area! Hey, look at you! You spotted me. Good job, Rocket Grunt! This is a surprisingly long sequence. And, I mean, what, we've been going after Team Galactic, I guess. I should start calling them Galactic. But they, they ride on rockets, or I suppose they will. We've been going up against Team Galactic for probably like two, two and a half hours now. It's been like three or four videos in a row. Man. It just seems like a really long time to be kind of doing the same thing. Normally, you'd be switching from one route to the next, or you'd be going through a cave for 25 minutes, or fighting a gym, or working your way through that. That wouldn't take you two and a half hours. And this whole Team Galactic thing we've been doing at the end here, like, from driving, from going around to all the lakes, and then, I guess we had a little break to go and take on the 7th gym. But then, since then, it's been like an hour and a half straight of going through Team Galactic buildings and then running through caves after them. We got all these, all these derps at the bottom of the party that aren't at very high levels. Let's put, let's put mud in front. How about it? Do I want to go up this way? No, I don't want to go this way. I'm going to go the way that I think is the right way out now. This is cave sequence is officially getting kind of, uh, kind of long, honestly. Got away safely. Good job, mud. Oh. Haha, <laughs> missed me! <laughs> oh, can I sneak by him by using Rock Smash? Looks like it. Skippable fights! Oh, yes! I love it! Ha ha ha! Whoop! Random battle. Yeah, I would guess that it's probably stopping. Look at the wild Golbat here, are only two levels below what the Team Galactic Grunts have. That's laughable. Hmm. Cut it out. Can't escape. Oh, Mud's too slow to be leading the party in here. You have to be fast in order to escape. I guess we'll put uh, Blaze out in front if we want some speed. Some speed! I'm gonna try and go a little more cautiously here. So I don't run into any random battles like a derp. Hey, wanna use more HMs? Sure, here you go. Use Rock Climb one more time. Sounds fun. 
it's down here. Don't care. Let's go this way. I still feel like I'm getting close to the normal amount of random battles. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Love the sound Blaze makes. Alright, who are you? Yeah, right, you're absolutely right, I'm hopelessly lost. Don't pay attention to a lowly grunt like me without any Pokémon. You're clearly blocking the way. Get! 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 You, you, you're blocking the, the door! You. What? What? Hmm? Yeah, he just keeps saying the same thing over and over. What am I supposed to do with this guy? Let's go down this way. This must be the right way to go, then. I don't know what door it is he's standing in front of there. He's clearly blocking our way. I think we're supposed to go in wherever that is. Am I supposed to have beaten all the grunts in the room? Is that what it is? Oh man, if that's what it is, I'm gonna be annoyed. I'm gonna go around and fight the rest of them and then find out. That nope, that's not it. Thing is, we've just been getting so many. Oh, nothing here. Wow. Dang. Right, I can go back up this. Where, where am I? I'm, I'm starting to get turned around. Let's be honest. I'm getting a little lost here. I guess I'll go up then, since I can't go down. It's weird. By down, I mean down the stairs. And I, but it's really up on the screen. Oh, it's so complicated. This flute's not doing much. Do I need to blow it every, like, so many steps? Maybe it's maybe just perfect. Maybe it works perfectly, but only for a hundred steps, something like that. Okay, well that door down there is clearly the, the way out, so I guess I have to fight the rest of the trainers first. But if that were the case, why would they make them skippable? Oh, it doesn't make sense, man. Hey, you! Fight! Me! I'm breaking hearts. Oh, man, I love it. I'm a bad guy. Damn, it feels good to be a dumb. Oh, you're not fully evolved, team. Just not threaten me. What should I use? What should I use? I want to set up a sunny day and just roll on through with flame wheels. How about that? I like the image of a horse doing a cartwheel. <laughs> That's what I picture flame wheels being. All right, here goes now. It's clearly some other variety of move, but I just I see it as as a cartwheel. You know, like when a chimchar or something does it, it's just you know, like he's doing a cartwheel, that's what I think. So then for a horse to do it would just be hilarious. It's a kitty! Didn't we fight a progly at like level 20 something, like way early in the game? And these derps still have level 42 not fully evolved cats. Just, like, the most lame Pokémon that they could find. Oh, he's got two Murkrow, too. Wow. That's another cop-out right there. Giving a trainer more than one of the same Pokémon. I feel like any trainer over the age of, like, six or seven doesn't have <laughs> repeat Pokémon. You know? It's just, there's just no benefit from having two of the same Pokémon unless it's a really awesome Pokémon, like a Legendary or something. I mean, obviously a team of six Mews could be <laughs> remarkably effective, but it's a very versatile Pokémon. A team of six Murkrows would just be stupid. Much like these Team Rocket Grunts. I'm starting to get the impression that the Black Flute is, flute is like what I said. It's just that it works for like 100 steps and then it doesn't work at all. Because that's what it seems like. So I, I'm just getting a, like, a normal amount of encounters now, aren't I? I have to keep playing it all the time. Alright, you're the only other trainer here, I think, besides the one standing in front of the door down there. We'll see if badly these guys actually makes their friend move. I'll tell you one thing, if I came down into this complex friggin' HM cave, only to find out that, oh, it's just, uh... A dead end or some shit like that? I'm gonna be pissed. Waste my time like that, game. The only thing I have is a black flute, so it seems to be effective for repelling Pokemon. Maybe I have to play the black flute for the guy or something? 
It's not like he's a sleeping Snorlax and I need to wake him up. I just don't think that that flute is really going to do it. I guess I'll try that if he's still sitting in here. I'm trying to think what other Pokemon games have done. I, I, mean, I figure he's, he's scripted. So I have to do something and then he'll be gone. He'll be out of the way. Hmm. He's like the Team uh, Ruby in Ruby version. He's, he's like the Team Magma Grun who stands in front of the secret entrance in uh, uh, the route that comes down from the top of the volcano. And he's still, he just stands in front of the entrance and won't move until uh, it's time for you to go in there later in the game. Is he still standing there? Yep. Oh boy. Ah! You know, I think this move just doesn't work. So I, I've, I've only gone like 30 or 40 steps when I'm getting encounters again. So that's my new theory. The flute's just a, a placebo. It doesn't actually work at all. Because <laughs> it seems like it's just, it just kind of... Yeah. You there! Oh, jeez. This is getting ridiculous. I wish it was like Earthbound, where once you're so many levels above whatever is popping up in the area, you just sort of automatically win and get the experience. Ah, uh, why? Alright, here, I'm gonna play the flute for you, buddy. I'm gonna give it to you. No, I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna use it. What am I? All right. I wish. You know what? At this point, I would just sick my Pokemon on him. I would just kill him, <laughs> or at least get him out of the friggin' way. All right. That's just not the right way to go. What the heck am I supposed to do? There is this huge room here with all these people in it. And there's that's there's the one door out, and apparently this is not where I'm supposed to be. What the hell? Oh, there's another rock climb here. Didn't see that before. Well, wait a minute. What the hell is that then? What is that room back there? If this is the way you're supposed to go, I don't. You, it's just a big waste of time. He just stands in front of the door. What do you like? Come back there to catch a legendary or some shit like that? Oh man. I'm getting angry now. Waste my time! Okay, where are we now, anyway? I think that the way that our map says is definitely wrong down there on the other screen. We've gone way farther than that. There's no way we're right there. We should be, like, up here somewhere by now. Okay. This is a bit weird. Whoa, I'm glitching out. Did you see that? Hey, look at that. Stardust. Alright. I don't need any more Stardust game. I got I got plenty of Stardust. And I need is to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. This seems promising. I'm not even gonna bother to play the flute. 36 Graveler. Get guy away safely. Yep. Listen, there better be some epic stuff going on at the top of this mountain, let me tell you. Because this is a sincerely ridiculous, really long build-up. This is crazy. And we're still fighting just grunts, right? Yeah, just more grunts. Is this, is like, this is like a marathon session. I just find it very strange, that's all. The whole thing is just weird. I guess I'm going with Poison Jab here. No way. That isn't even a stab move. Oh, come on. This is just embarrassing for Team Galactic now. I one shot with Poison Jab? That's like 80 base power and it's not even a stab move. This should not be a 20 KO. Oh, man. I just... Whoa, hey. Watch out. Watch what you're doing with those critical hits. Sucker Punch? Hey, now. Yeah. Alright, time to either give Blaze a Hyper Potion or... Oh, level 35 for Yeti, cool. He only needs to get to, you know, 50. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's get some medicine going. Oops. I still have a Super Potion left. He's out of mud. Hmm. Also, I got... I have 8 Hyper Potions, cool. One for Eddie. 
Oh, why don't you kick me out of the menu, man? I need one for Blaze. Cool. Let's switch it up, shall we? Let's put Toggle in front now. Give somebody else a turn. Toggle's fast enough to get away from wild pokes around here anyway, so... Uh, oh, oh, man. Yeah, I should play the flute again, just to be sure. Love the sound Toggle makes. It's just great. Alright. Where's my flute? I wish it made the sound of a flute or something. That would be cool. Team Galactic will take control of everything. You can try all you want, but you can't do anything. Ha 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 you know, <laughs> it's like, hey, it's another rocket grunt with the same Pokemon, and it's just oh look, more caves, more rock climbs, more more pushing the rocks around, and it is even like a Victory Road style puzzle where you have to push the rocks around a certain way. It's just, nope, just they're in the way. Push the rocks. Don't make no sense, man. Oh, and then they're confusing me. Come on, Toggle, you can do it. You got that high friendship. Yeah. I'm just noticing it, but I like to Toggle's uh, hair? Ears? I don't know. One is red, one is white, and one is blue. That's cool. This is what I have to do. I'm, just, I'm, I'm inspecting the back sprite now, just because the battle is that boring. Oh! My flute doesn't work, man! Didn't I go back in and play it? I thought I did. I thought I did. Maybe I'm crazy. Love the sound Toggle makes. Oh man. My favorite sound, I think. This one that Toggle makes. Oh, are we almost to the top yet? Oh my goodness. Can I please have go around you? No! No! Don't make me fight another grunt! Oh. This is really getting ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's a good, good experience for, uh,. For Yeti, but, uh, man. This is getting silly. I'm gonna fly first, and then I'm gonna air slash. That way the air slash will finish him off. Haha, <laughs> you missed. It's a new animation. Have we actually used fly in battle before? Like the first time. Oh, didn't get the poisoning. I assume that move has a chance to poison. Did I miss just then? What just happened? Does Air Slash not have 100% accuracy? Because I thought it did. Hmm. Maybe it's only 95. I know, I know that's really good accuracy, or, I, or else I would know that it didn't. Hmm. Oh yeah, you anticipate that Air Slash. Sucker Punch is an interesting move. I like the mechanics of that. You, you go first if the opponent is doing a, an attacking move, rather than a setup or whatever. So that's cool. And it totally makes sense for it to be a sucker punch, kind of dark type move. You know, I, I, I get it, right? Uh, it'd be more interesting if four trainers from Coagunx before this didn't all have sucker punch, just like this one. Yeah, get that experience for Yeti. There's not even any uh, admin yet. And the wild encounters. Oh, I should have just bought more repel before we left. Ooh, a Bronzong! I haven't seen a wild Bronzong before. Man. I'm using my last repel. I can't stand this anymore, man. That flute doesn't work. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Oh, and that's the outside of the cave. Okay. 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 You know what? I'm just glad that we're done with that nonsense. Okay, tell me. There's, there's some. Tell me you have some good news, game. That I get to actually do something cool. All right. I'm gonna heal up. That's the wrong pocket. Gonna heal up. And let's do this. Be 
you guys important? Yep, I'm just gonna walk by. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's where the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel! Is it a duel? Duel? <laughs> I get it, like, like, like a double battle? Duel, duel? Sorry. Stunky! And it's not even two admins, it's just two grunts. Just two grunts! Just, just two grunts. Alright, I guess I'll uh, slash here. And uh, flame wheel there. Sounds good. Let's see if I can get two one-hit KOs. How funny would that be? Oh, the stunky didn't go down. The Karagon definitely will. Stupid effect, Steve. Not much experience. It's all going to Yeti. Night Slash. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't do much. Another Karagon. That guy has two Karagons. Okay. Ten bucks says the other guy has two stunkies. This is just my thought. Just what I'm thinking now. If that's the case, I'm really gonna be, uh... <laughs> P.O.'d, I guess? Perturbed? Annoyed? Choose, choose a word. Any word will do. To be fair, I think that second Karagonk might have had a couple more levels. It wasn't evolved, but it had a couple more levels than the first Karagonk. It's dangerous. It's a difficulty curve. Oh, he's got the Glammeow! What a twist! Okay. Oh, Sucker Punch. Wow, that did like nothing. I mean, we are at seven levels above, but I just feel like the fact that they're using not fully evolved Pokemon just... They just have no chance. This is like too easy, it's so, it's boring. Oh, you Grunts, the toughest of all Grunts, that was me. <laughs> You're still just a Grunt. We're not capable of slowing you. We'll let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Thank goodness. I would rather lose to your boss than, than win against you. Alright, anything cool around here? Oh, this, we're in the Spear Pillar. Now, I've heard of this place before. I know that big stuff goes down here. So, let me just check out my pokes. Hang on. You know, let's just... Whoops. No, let's not surf. No, I can't use Earthquake. Or, yeah, Mud's no good for double battles, because I can't use Earthquake or Surf, really, so... I'll use Eddy and Toggle. That'll be a good pairing, because I can use Earthquake with, with Toggle on the field. Alright, you got your different little battle? Let's do it. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Mars. Are you the one that's the girl, or... I can't, I can't remember. I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you're going to have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And Jupiter says, I'm next! <laughs> I fight winner! <laughs> Uh-oh! It's Barry! Don't you start the party without me! Boom, boom. Alright, Barry. Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge. Oh yeah, she beat up on Barry at Lake of Verity. Acuity? I can't remember. Ha! If it isn't the little boy! The little cry Barry from Lake Acuity! Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. No! No, please! Anything but Barry! Ah! Just look at his haircut. Can't take him seriously, man. Plus, I only get to have my one Pokemon on them. They have the same Pokemon! I... Nope! Nope! Nope. I don't even... And Barry's Pokemon aren't involved! <laughs> I can't... I can't do it! I can't do it! It's... Nope! That's it. <laughs> I just want to end the video. Just right there. Just That's it. That's the end of the video. I just like, put the controller down and walk away. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, uh, I guess I'll just throw some shadow balls around. Should be one at KO. Whoa, hey, that bronzer was tough! I got a special D drop though, so... Ah, uh, your reflect will do nothing! Against, please tell me that was against him, not me. I think that's not as much lax. Yes, good. Can he hit me? Oh yeah, I guess, hey, that's actually not a bad move, Screech. If you're gonna use a physical attack next, so the Barry knows his stuff. So, I think... Uh, I think, yeah, I think I'm still better off going with Shadow. No, actually, Aura Sphere... Let's do Aura Sphere. So I think Aura Sphere actually has 
more power when the mo both of the moves are neutral. Nice! One down, five to go. Oh, they set up dual screens. That's gonna be annoying. The reflect I didn't care about, but dual screens is annoying. Stockpile. Very. Okay, your defenses are up, but that's okay. It's a skunk tank. Oh, put that leg down, man. That's just so gross, dude. It's like he's gonna pee on you. All right, what do I use against a skunk tank? That's. Poison Dark, right? So fighting's normal. And ghost is normal. Let's we'll go with the Air Slash then. I'm trying to get a flinch. Nope, no flinch. 60% chance of flinch there, so just keep that in mind. Gyro Ball. Oh boy. Yeah, see? The, the Gyro Ball just doesn't do much. Then again, Bronzor's attack is just really bad. So... Hmm, do I need to heal, or... I don't think they could finish me on this one, but... And if I'm, I'm going for the Air Slash, I'm probably going to get the flinch anyway, so... I hope it's a free hit KO. It doesn't look like it will be. Nope, I he's healing. What? That was a lot for a Citrus Fairy, and I got the flinch on that one. Cool. Oh, I hit the Munchlax. Man! Munchlax, that's out of confusion! Finally, doing some damage! A whole lot. Not enough that I don't have to heal on this turn. Ooh. Where did Barry even get a Munchlax? I just don't understand. Oh, smoke screen. Is that on the both of us or just the Munchlax? That's nice. Alright, well this is the first battle in the whole video where I'm actually engaged here, this is cool. Barry's just setting up with his Munchlax. <laughs> the Reflect War Off! Hooray! Makes no difference to me. Alright, but then his Light Screen's going down on the next turn. That's why I'm doing no damage to the Stunk Tank. I should have two-shot it. Okay. Let's use a, another Air Slash then. I guess I could have used Fly. Oh, another flinch. <laughs> That's on me. Damn. No. That brought up. It's official. Barry swallows. And regains his health. And the stockpile effect wore off. And the lightscreen wore off. I just my dunk I just snap out of my confusion. That would be great. I would get that bronzer out of there because it's so annoying with the the confuse ray and stuff, but uh I'd rather get it down to just one poke, since the I think it's Jupiter, who's on the left, is only going to have one more Pokemon. Woodhammer! Incoming! Yeah, baby! Forget a move. Forget... Is it Mist I want to forget? Forget Mist! Sounds great. Poof! Yeti forgot how to use Mist, and Yeti learned Woodhammer. 100% accuracy, 120 power, 130 recoil. Light screen. Damn it. Man, I'm tempted to bring Eddie in, because this light screen nonsense is getting annoying. Although a Reflect is likely to come up on the next turn anyway. Alright, now with the ref with that up... He's probably going to use Reflect anyway, because I want to use Fly here, but then... I'm just suspecting there's going to be a Reflect in the next turn, so I might as well just use Air Slash anyway. So by the time I come down from my Flying, there will probably be a Reflect, and then I would just be doing, be doing no damage. Sludge Bomb. I really feel like Gary's... Gary? First Volley, and now Gary! <laughs> that Confuse Ray is getting annoying, for sure. Oh yeah, Munchlax, do it. Yeah, help me out with that Gold Bat. Oh, with the Paralysis! Wow! Gary's pulling his weight. Sort of. Yeah, Tuckle something out of Confusion. That means that Jupiter's out of Pokemon. I gotta get some victory here, so... Yeah, this video is just going on for a long time. I'm getting thirsty. Talk about level 49, nice. Alright, Gyro Ball. Man, come on. Anyway, he snapped out of Confusion. Look at that. 
Alright, let's get that bronzer out of here on this next turn. What do you say? see what Commander Mars' other two Pokemon are. I don't actually remember. I think there might be a Toxic Croak coming out next. What? What? That should have... Oh, I thought that was going to finish. Man. It's crazy. This is going to be another hour-long Pokemon video. They're just getting to the point where they got to be this long, when I got that much nonsense to go through just to get to the interesting battle at the end. I hope that Barry has more than one Pokemon with him, so if Munchlax goes down, another Pokemon will actually come out. Alright, Aura Sphere it is. Oh, the Perugly is actually faster. And Munchlax goes down. Hope Barry is not playing a Nuzlocke version. <laughs> that ugly. Wow, that Pokemon has a lot of health. Yeah, oh, it's because of the light screen. Heracross! I want a Heracross! Oh man! Why does Barry have a Heracross and I don't? That Heracross is gonna die in one hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Four times. F oh wow! It lived the hit! Four times effective Aerial Ace. I guess that's not too dangerous. Uh. Well, I guess. I don't know. Krug is a physical attacker, right? I don't know. Ooh, that's a damage range. I didn't do half of my first hit, but then I finished in the second. Just a little damage ranging. Ah, uh, brick break, there's no target. At least he used a move that would have been super effective. Kind of like going for a bug type move. Oops. Uh, air slash. Now their screens are worn off, so we Oh, that's what it was. The screen wore off. That's why I did more damage the second time. Or maybe it was damage range. I don't remember now if the screen was between those two turns or not. Night Slash. Interesting move for a hair across to have. Alright, let's finish this. Air Cutter. Is that gonna hit both of us? Looks like it. Hair across is going down. Yep. Super effective stab. No chance. Doesn't matter, because the battle is over, and the toggle is in pretty much perfect shape anyway. Cool. We beat Commander Mars and Commander Jupiter! Sheesh! I should have done the fighting myself. Huh, if you've toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. Wow, you have a deep voice, lady. Ha! My Pokemon are tough, right? Barry, this is not the time. I can get even tougher, but you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Poncho, I'll help you with this. Oh, you healed me. Thanks! Hey, Poncho, this is it. It's your show now. Thank you. Dot, 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 dot. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all we end, and all... What? Everything will end and everything will begin? With this, the red chain made of the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Mewtwo? Oh wait, no. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon, and the master of time, and the other. Palkia, the mystical Pokemon, and master of space and dimensions, <laughs> and the other. <laughs> what? Who put that line of dialogue in? What exactly is going on here? Hey, those Pokemon are on the box! <laughs> I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Even the text looks weird now. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete... Okay, please stop. Please stop talking. It is all for the making of the ultimate world, the world of complete perfection. Nothing is so vague in it. Oh my goodness. Hmm? 
Um, I should have expected as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. Yeah, they don't like the shit you're trying to pull, Cyrus. The Pokémon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three-legged Pokémon that symbolize spirit and balance to the... To e <laughs> what? That symbolize spirit to balance either the Pokémon of time and space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Poncho, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. Did I read that? What? What's that? What? 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 There will remain no spirit for all time when I am done? I don't get it. All spirit will disappear. Okay, it will be ripped away. Do you mean like souls? Or just like I don't have the willpower? Or like what spirit? From you, from your Pokemon, from those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged? Yeah, maybe it's those big Pokemon you're telling what to do, man. Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Whoa. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Oh, he's gonna kill that. He's gonna the thing is gonna kill Cyrus for sure. I, Cyrus, won't have any more if <laughs> That's how I would read that. The way they spelled that word. <laughs> No. What? Now they're just little balls of light and stuff? And the pink one. Kind of hovering around for a bit first. Hello! What are you telling us? Oh, yep. In you go. Just saying thanks, I guess, for, for earlier. Cynthia's like, uh, <laughs> sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer for studying the myths. Yeah, is it just this big weird summoning thing he did? What is that, a hellmouth? When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Suddenly, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. Uh, apparently, rather. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina! What? Yes! We needed to make a third version for this generation, but we didn't know what to do, so we just made a third godlike Pokemon and threw that in, too. It makes sense. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond, and our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. Um, I guess Barry heal my Pokemon. We can go in there. <laughs> There's going to be a video split here at some point. Lord knows where. Probably here. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Punch, like I'm going to say yes, and we're going to jump into the Hellmouth. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.